Hi, this is Peter of GizGuide.com and now we will check if a smartphone camera can keep up with a mirrorless camera. This is the Huawei P20 Pro vs Canon EOS M50 Photography Challenge. DSLRs and mirrorless cameras have better image quality than smartphone cameras. Why? Because of the benefits of a larger sensor which fits bigger pixels for better light gathering and processing. But Huawei aims to change that norm when they launch the P20 Pro, a smartphone with DSLR-like functions. How? It goes with a triple like a camera system. The Huawei P20 Pro boasts a massive 40MP f1.8 RGB sensor paired with a 20MP f1.6 monochrome sensor and an 8MP f2.4 OIS 3x telephoto sensor for PHP 44990p. In addition, it has a master AI feature which allows the phone to automatically select the best shooting mode in different scenes. Moreover, it has up to 5 times lossless hybrid zoom and AI-assisted stabilization for low-light shots. On the other hand, the Canon EOS M50 has a large 24.1 MP APS-C CMOS sensor with dual pixel autofocus for PHP 38998. It can also detect different scenes using the Scene Intelligent Auto Mode. On this scene, the difference in quality between the Huawei P20 Pro and Canon EOS M50 is hardly noticeable. Huawei P20 Pro got the image with better details in the sky, more vibrant colors, and slightly better dynamic range. But when cropped, the shot taken by the Canon EOS M50 has a slightly crispier image with a bit better color accuracy. This time, Huawei P20 Pro's AI emphasized the greens and produced the sharper details on the flower subject. It also has good depth of field. On the other hand, Canon EOS M50's color accuracy is better, it still has less grain when cropped, and depth of field is shallower too. But the flower subject is a bit softer. Personally, I like the shot on the M50 due to its shallower depth of field. The sharpening and noise on the P20 Pro is more aggressive. Portraits on both cameras are good. The P20 Pro has clean edge detection and sharp details. However, it is a bit beautified. The skin tone and bokeh on the Canon EOS M50 is more natural looking. Huawei P20 Pro's 3x zoom is the best found on a smartphone yet. But when you take a closer look, it is evident that the shot taken by the Canon EOS M50 still has less noise. The Huawei P20 Pro shines in low light. It has better dynamic range, details, colors, and exposure. On the other hand, the low light shot taken by the Canon EOS M50 is dimmer. It still has a bit less noise though. The low light shot by the P20 Pro is better due to its intelligent way of combining an array of 4 pixels into a single large pixel. Good fight! The hardware advantages of the Canon EOS M50 mirrorless camera are still there. But the Huawei P20 Pro proved that it is no slouch despite its more compact size. Thanks to its game-changing triple Leica camera system with DSLR-like functions and image quality. It even has few advantages with AI and software. As a result, there are instances where we had to nitpick to tell the differences between the two. Overall, it is great to see that there is a smartphone like the P20 Pro that can perform like a mini DSLR in your pocket. What do you think guys? Let us know in the comments.